a nation which seems to be constantly under threat by marauding gunmen and which has rampant and brazen criminality in several communities looks to this man to help craft effective policies to slay the crime beast. Now, however, National Security Minister Peter Bunting in an emotional display believes the lasting solution to deal with Jamaica's crime problem has to come from above. Clearly holding back tears, Mr. Bunting said this is a dark time in his career as minister. I think after 15 months, I am convinced that the best efforts of the security forces by itself will not solve the crime problem in Jamaica. But it is going to take divine intervention, touching the heart of a wide cross-section of the society. Mr. Bunting suggested help from the heavens is needed by way of the Almighty touching the hearts of pastors, business persons and politicians who would then take appropriate action. And using as the instruments of the divine intervention the ministers fraternals, the academics, the business community, those persons who work in the NGO community, those of us who are in political service, all to try and make an impact. Until then, however, the minister told the gathering that based on the numbers, it could be perceived that the crime beast is winning. His voice broke during the declaration. He tried hard to control his emotions. I'm not embarrassed to say that right now as Minister of National Security, I'm going through a kind of a dark night of the soul because we're trying very hard at the ministry. I see the men and women of the security forces trying very hard, working night and day, long hours. I see the leadership, um, capable, competent, professional, uh, both of the police and the military. And so much effort is being made, and yet so little headway, such slow headway um, is coming out in the statistics. At one point, there was a pause by the minister. He needed a moment. And so what's keeping him going in light of the grim reality? The minister said he's clinging to faith. And it really takes a lot of faith to keep working and going in the face of this. And of course, I'm happy that I have so many uh, persons of faith to encourage and support, not just myself, but all of the security forces at this time. So a call for help from a higher power to help save the nation. Many hope the prayer will be answered.